In this training video, we're going to look at the use of Slide Master within Microsoft PowerPoint. So to show you the power of Slide Master, I'm going to insert an image into Slide 1. So I'm going to go on the Insert tab. I'm going to go to Pictures, and I'm going to insert a logo that I prepared. And I'm going to position it in the top right-hand corner of Slide 1. Well, what a lot, of, a lot of companies would like to do would be to insert a picture logo for their logo, their particular organization logo, into every single slide. Now, what I've done here, I've got slide one selected, but the logo has only gone into slide one. If I click slide two, there's no logo, so on, so on for three and four. So this is not ideal in a presentation. So what we need here is to standardize the way we work with logos and appearance and, and just make the presentation suit our, our corporate needs or our standardized needs. So I'm going to do exactly the same within a view called Slide Master. So I'm going to delete this logo on slide one. I'm going to go to the View tab and Slide Master. So on the Master Views part of the ribbon. Really powerful way of using Microsoft PowerPoint. So Slide Master. And then to go to the the one that says number one at the top. So it's the global slide master, the one that controls all of PowerPoint. You might say, what are the other slides doing? Well, each slide in PowerPoint has its own master. So let me quickly show you what I mean by each slide in PowerPoint has its own master. So if I click on one of the slides and hover over it, it has a name. You can see that's called a title slide layout. If I click on another one, Hover over it. That's title and content. I'm quickly going to close the slide master. Go to the layout tab in the home tab. And I can see that every slide in PowerPoint has a name. So these names are coming from the slide master. So the design of these slides is all coming from the slide master. So that's where you get more than one choice of slide master. So you can control any slide you want. But we're going to use the big one at the top, which controls all of PowerPoint. So we're going to go back into the, the View tab, Slide Master, the big number one at the top. And I'm now going to apply the logo. So I'm going to insert the logo. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab, Picture, same logo, Insert. I'm going to reposition it, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Now we can see that the logo has gone onto every single slide. So that means that the logo is now going to appear throughout the presentation. Now besides a logo, I might want to, for example, go back onto my Slide Master because whenever you're in Slide Master View, the Slide Master tab is available. So within the Slide Master, I might want to change the design of the presentation. So there's themes. So I could go theme and now I can choose color themes that I happen to like for my presentation. In this example, I'm going to click the Retrospect. And it applies the theme to the entire presentation within the Slide Master view. If I now go look at how the presentation is now looking in Presentation view, which is the normal view, and I close Slide Master down. And what we've now got, we've now got a logo on all slides of the presentation, but not one. So when you're using Slide Master, you might say, well, why is that? We're going to investigate why this is now. So the logo now has appeared throughout all, sli all uh, slides in the presentation, except the one. So we're now going to go into Slide Master and find out what that slide's called. So we can actually look at it here. Layout tab. It's called the title slide. So that's the name that's given to it. That's the name that's highlighted. So we're going to find out in the title slide master why there's not a logo on that particular slide. So we go back to the slide master. And here's the title slide here. Now it says by default hide the background graphic. 
So one or two slides in the masters, they by themselves, by default, they say hide background graphics. Well, in this example, we don't want to. So we can take the tick out of hide background graphic. Now it, now it displays itself. Close master view down. Now we've got a logo throughout every single slide within the presentation. Now this is a good way of standardizing your presentation within Microsoft PowerPoint. So Slide Master should be used for things like design. For example, you might want the headings to look different on the slide. You might say for whatever reason, you want all the headings on every slide to be a dark blue font color, which is bold. Well, if I were to go through each of the slides in normal view, that would mean I've got 10 slides in this presentation. I'd have to go into each slide and change it individually. Not with slide master view. Whatever you do to the one, you do it to the lot. So I'm going to go now to the big global slide at the top. So back to my view slide master. Big, the big number one at the top. And I'm going I'm to click on the outside of the box. So the outside of the box is selected. And there's a solid line between white dots. So that means everything in the box is selected. I can now change the font using this method instead of having to highlight the text. You can highlight the text, or if you click between any two of the dots and you get a solid line that also highlights the text ready for change. So I'm gonna go to the Home tab. I'm gonna put it the heading against bold. I'm gonna put a shadow against it, and I'm gonna change the color to a dark blue. So dark blue, bold, Plus a shadow. Slide master, I'm gonna close it down now. And we can now see the presentation change for us. So dark blue presented throughout the presentation. The one looks a little bit different against the title slide. We'll investigate this one. So we'll see what we need to do to this one. Back to the view master. Okay, we can quickly check the font on this one. Home tab. It's bold. It's shadow. But it hasn't changed the blue, so we'll just change the blue. Slide master. Close. And now we've got standardization throughout the presentation. So Slide Master can be a very, very useful view for standardizing your presentation with logos, background colors, changing font, putting company information and in that you want to appear on every single slide. But this is the idea behind the Slide Master. Now you can control some of the elements of the slide master individually, like you saw there was some slides within slide master view which had their own master. Well, they can overwrite certain parts of the slide master. You can do things independently if you wanted to. But this concludes in this training video, the use of slide master and using logos and design within slide master. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.